Hey guys, Kate from Persistence Pays here. Today's topic, how do I begin? So a lot of women come to me with this question. How do I begin my journey? We all view it as this super daunting, overwhelming, challenging experience. And as a result of the multitudes of information out there and getting overwhelmed and confused with so much out there, we don't know where to begin. So for those of you who aren't aware, a couple of years ago, I was 135 kilos or 290 pounds. Over the last couple of years, I have lost just over 42 kilos or 90 pounds. And I've begun a coaching program whereby I want to assist other women to get out of that rock bottom spot. That spot where you despise your life and you despise yourself and everything about your life and you literally can't live another day there. I was there just a, just a few years ago and I don't want you to have to either get there or if you are there right now, I want you to get out of there stat. So how do I begin? It's a question that everyone asks. Instead of tipping your life on its end, instead of trying to alter habits that you've been forming for the last couple of months or years or maybe decades, all you have to do is start creating healthier alternatives. Start picking healthier choices. Tomorrow, not next Monday, not next week, not next month, not next year, tomorrow. I want you to make one small daily change to your habits. Whether that's to get off the bus one stop earlier, whether that's to eat one less biscuit from the packet, whether that's to pick a salad sandwich over a box of KFC for lunch, whether that's to um, walk the 200 meters to the shopping center as opposed to driving. Whatever it is that you're currently doing that you know is just a small daily change that you can make that's manageable, I want you to make it. I want you to start realizing how important your health is and that you don't need to just tip your life on its end to begin your journey. All you have to do is begin. Begin by taking a few extra steps each day. Begin by altering a meal or eating something, something less, say, you know, one less biscuit or one less packet of Tim Tams. Whatever it is that you're doing right now, just begin. Start making these small daily changes each and every day for a period of a couple of weeks and I can guarantee you that you'll start to see progress. Prime example is one of my newest clients. She's been with me for two weeks. Now she weighs in at 160 kilos. She was eating KFC every single lunchtime. You know the change we've made? She's now choosing a salad sandwich for lunch instead of her KFC box. That's the one small change that we've made in the last two weeks. She was already doing a half an hour to an hour walk each day, but we've made that one small change to her, to her habits. Do you know what she's done? She's lost nearly 10 kilos in two weeks just by making that small change. So what I'm saying to you is to not look at the process as something that is the most daunting, over complex, um, hard or impossible process that you're ever going to go through. Just make one small daily change and I can guarantee you, you'll start seeing results. And once you start seeing results, you'll want to push even further. And once you want to push even further, you'll get into the gym. And once you get into the gym, you'll get your rhythm and suddenly... Six months will go down the track and you've dropped 30 kilos and you'll feel absolutely incredible. All because you started with one small change. Now I'm challenging you. What change are you going to make tomorrow? Are you going to realize that your health is so important? Are you going to realize that you are worthy, that your life is imperative, that we've only got one shot on this planet and that if we died tomorrow, we have to be happy today? What change are you going to make tomorrow to make your future a brighter one? That's all for me today, guys. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, chuck a comment down. If you've got a question, feel free to send me an inbox. Um, if not, I'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.